So I was just sat thinking, what am I going to speak on today? What am I going to tell? What am I going to say? What am I going to give? And if I'm honest, I still don't know. I haven't come up with anything. So this could go anywhere. So stick around and watch, even if it's just for entertainment purposes and not learning anything at all or making your life better or making you better or your relationships better or your sex better or your bank account better or your health better or your parenting skills better or your communication skills better or your business career better. Even if it's just for entertainment purposes, stick around. Um, I'm going to mention it now rather than at the end. If you like this video, like my stuff, please hit the like button. Please hit the share button. Let someone else uh, experience this if you believe that their life is going to benefit in any way from uh, what I say in this video or what I've said in any of my videos. You can subscribe to the channel to get more of me in your life if you want that. Even if it's just to feed off my energy and drink it in and absorb this energy... A lot of the times when I'm working with people, they actually say, man, I love being around you just because of your energy. And a lot of the time, it's not just like what I say and the tips and the hints and the strategies and the tactics and the meditations and the actions or um, anything that I actually actually say and actually give. A lot of the time, it's just because of the energy that I bring and they they bring that and they, they, they don't bring it, but they almost like absorb it and bring it in. And it carries them through the day. That's where this video is going to go. So subscribe to the channel if you want more of my energy. You can make a donation if you feel, no, if you think, if you feel it's right to make a donation for what I'm giving you. If you want to reciprocate in some way, then you can make a donation at paypal.me forward slash Coach Matt Smith. If you want my address to send me gifts and, and teddies and chocolates, I will send you my address and I will happily receive any types of gifts. Apart from worn socks not down for that so energy let's talk about energy today are you low on energy are you here's here's what i know to be true we are not consumers we are we are life wanting to express itself through us that's what I believe we are. You might say, yeah, man, no, we're not. We're, we're men and women and we have these jobs and we have these responsibilities and we have these letters after our name because we spent so much time reciting what other people have said is true and we recited it and we remembered it and we copied it and we pasted it and then we got letters after our name. I'm, I'm totally having a go. At, I realise what I'm doing right now. So no judgment whatsoever. Let's leave that there. I'm just jealous because I haven't got any letters after my name have i got any letters after my name pt possibly <laughs> um <laughs> there's probably a few letters after my name that i could probably put together from a few people would think of putting some letters after my name mostly four of them uh but that's all in the past now <laughs> energy right back on track be yourself by the way hey, if you're like me and you're one of these people that just like grab ideas and just flow and just go with it give yourself permission to be that Give yourself, but if you're just like straight down the line and, and, and one idea and one thing, again, give yourself full permission to be that. Energy, let's bring it back to energy. How do I have this much energy? I have the same amount of energy as you have coming through you right now. The problem is most people suppress their energy rather than express their energy and and allow it out most people are suppressing why because when you're a kid mommy and daddy said sit down shut up calm down keep still stand still do this anytime you try to express yourself and be yourself and allow life to come through you your parents said shh your teachers said shh society says shh current date and time six minutes past two on the 18th of june the world is like this right now i'm not going to share my beliefs as to what i believe is going on but this is not what us humans are meant to be doing shouting mantras and affirmations like I can't breathe. What you're informing your subconscious... When, sorry, I've got to stop doing that. What you're informing your subconscious when you're doing that is all negative. I support the Black Lives Movement. I'm all for Black Lives Matter. 
anti-racism has to win, will win, all racism oppression gone. So don't get it twisted and say, oh my God, he's a racist because he's not behind the, 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 I can't breathe. No, I just know what affirmations do to our psyche, our subconscious, our body, our energy, and I'm not about that life. I have, I'll be completely honest with you, completely, and I'm scared to actually share this and say this because of what some people might think of me. I wore a mask once during this whole thing. I've stayed away from people. I've kept social distance. I've been re responsible. The only thing I haven't done is wear a mask. I won't do it. But the only time I did, I went to a Black Lives Matter peaceful protest. It, the, one of the speakers actually said, this is the definition of a peaceful protest. Everyone stood two meters apart. Everyone stood nice and still. And we were kind of moving around chin, whatever. But there was, there was zero violence, zero damage, zero anything bad. It was perfect. I wore a mask the whole time through that. It felt right to do that. Off topic, back on topic, energy. I've done all the inner work, I think. Be interesting if I get triggered somewhere else in my life when I'm expressing myself. So let's see if that happens. All the inner work to allow life to flow through me. No suppression. Let it all out. Let it all go. That's why I have so much energy because I'm drawing from a, an, an unlimited supply of energy. I don't get my energy from food. I don't get my energy from caffeine. I don't get my energy from, from, ex, from external, like calories and stuff. That's not, where, that's not what energy is. That's not where energy comes from. And I think Tony Robbins said it once. Tony Robbins said it once. You think energy comes from food? Why is it after a massive meal full of loads of energy? Do you want to go to sleep? Think about that for a minute. The amount of times I'm, I felt like, a, I think the longest I fasted for was seven days. On day five, six, and seven, I felt better than I'd ever felt in my entire life. I felt so light, so clean, so clear, so energetic. Stuff I was seeing, I was seeing stuff in like 4D and 5D. It's like I was on drugs. I went for a walk in a forest. And I was seeing colors I'd never seen, like not just colors I'd never seen before, but but they were so much brighter. Like my eyes, there was no, I think, no cloudiness in there. There's cloudiness in my eyes, but everything was so bright and sharp. And it was like I was... And like everything was in HD of HD. If you can imagine a high definition of high definition like next level high definition. That's what it was like. Oh my God. And what I could hear, I could hear like I was, like I'd taken the pill limitless, you know, the limitless pill where you're just like, oh, that's like what it was like. So no, energy doesn't come from food. Energy doesn't come from food. Energy comes from this. <sighs> it's very hard to explain it and put into words, but you just really can't. It comes from universe big bang god source whatever you want. it's just and it's just there and it will be there if you allow it to flow through you rather than suppressing it with consumption what you're doing right now is consuming now you might be picking up on this energy and you might be lifted up a little bit from my energy but i guarantee after watching it you unless you um do what i'm going to suggest in a minute maybe i might suggest it i don't know i can't see the future but i can If you go on to consume more stuff, your energy will get lower and lower and lower and lower and lower and lower and lower. And lower. Or food or social media or all, all that stuff. Yes, diet can help. Yes, food can help. If you eat, obviously, life-giving, natural, organic, colorful food, you're going to feel better. You're probably going to have more energy. But I could have... I, I could go and eat the worst quality foods, yet still have high, great, amazing energy. I know that's a belief I hold about myself. I'm not going to go and do that to prove a point because I don't need to because I love myself. So I'm not going to go and eat rubbish food because I love myself. And if I love myself, why would I put harmful foods into the only body that I will ever have? I love myself, so I'm not going to go and do that. I might do it every now and again. I'm not going to make a habit of it. I'm not going to celebrate it on social media like some people are doing when they're going to the fast food restaurant and go, oh my God, this is amazing. We haven't been able to put this shit in our body for three months. No judgment, just an observation. Before anybody gets offended, but if you get offended, 
go inside and have a look at why you're getting offended about what I said. What part of you needs healing? Or you can just attack me in the comments if that makes you feel better. Energy! How do I have so much of it? And also, by that, uh, on that note, yes, my energy does go down sometimes. I'm not always high like this. Sometimes my energy's down. But that stemmed from a thought that I've had or an action I've taken. And I've, I've suppressed the energy that wants to come through me. I've done too much consuming, maybe. Maybe I've had too much sleep. Uh, maybe I've been reading too much. Maybe I've been watching too much. Sitting too much. That's right, yeah, I get low energy when I sit too much, when I relax too much, when I sleep too much. Energy goes right down. Because that's not what we're here for. We're like, we are nature. We're here to express and let it all go. And yeah, after my video, I might be like, oh, so I'll just go and recoup. Just like, just like a flower in spring. They're like, spring's here, summer's here. And then autumn, they're like, oh, I've done my thing now. I'm just going to go and just chill out. And then winter's here. And they go, oh. And then spring comes around and summer comes around. And then oh, autumn. I'm going to get rid of the old parts of me that I no longer need. I'm going to shake it all off. I'm going to die to myself in autumn and in winter. I'm just going to go in here. And then spring is here. That's literally what we are. That's what we are. We are nature. We are life. We are source. We're the universe. We're God. We're love. We're this trying to express itself through us. So pay attention to where your energy goes up and where your energy goes down. I guarantee you, if I was to get on the phone call with you right now and said, hey, talk to me about something that you really enjoy, a subject that you're passionate about, that you really, really enjoy. I don't care where your energy is at right now on a scale of 1 to 10. I don't care where it is. If I get you talking about what you really love and what you're really passionate about, your energy will go up. I wouldn't have had to feed you anything. I wouldn't have had to get you to drink anything. You'd have just gone into expression mode and then all this energy would have come through you from almost nowhere. <sighs> Magic. That's how to get more energy. Start thinking about what you're passionate about. Start talking about what you're passionate about. Get in front the amount of times I need more energy, I'll just get in front of the mirror and go, hey, let's talk about personal development. Hey, let's talk about spirituality. Hey, let's talk about the universe. Hey, let's talk about health and fitness. Hey, let's talk about how to get the girl hey let's talk about how to be the best version of you hey let's talk about how to really like nail it in 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 business and in career in job in calling in profession and i'll just like riff or i'll get the camera out and boom boom there it is and if i'm ever feeling stuck and frustrated i know that that's when i'm really meant to be creating really meant to be producing and then once it's done, once our spring and summer's done, I'll go, okay, it's autumn time now. Now I'll sit, now I'll chill. Now I might consume something. Or now I might just meditate, I might just chill, I might just go for a walk. So whenever a client comes to me and says, oh, I've never got any energy, usually it's because they're doing something they don't want to do, they're being someone who they don't want to be, they're with someone who they don't want to be with, they're consuming too much. So I'll very rarely look at diet to start with when it comes to Excuse me, when it comes to energy, very rarely look at diet. If they've got their life absolutely perfect and their life's amazing and they're, they're stepping into their calling and the relationship's amazing, their health's amazing, but their energy is still kind of down, then we might look at sleep, we might look at hydration, we may look at diet as well. But we'll predominantly look at the path that they're on in their life and how they spend most of their time. So do an audit of your life. If you want more energy, do an audit of your life. I've got this from Kyle, Cease, Kyle Cease's book. Is that how you say it? Kyle Cease's? Kyle Cease's book. I know it's Kyle Cease, but is it Kyle Cease's book? Kyle Cease's? Doesn't sound right. Anyway, Kyle Cease's book, The Illusion of Money. I highly recommend you get that book and you read it or listen to it. Depending on your, your personal preference on consuming books. Kyle Cease's The Illusion of Money. I might put a link down in the comments if I can figure out how to do that. Uh, and he talks about... Um, auditing your life on a scale of 1 to 10, the things you do on a scale of 1 to 10. And when you feel into your body, where does it feel on a scale of 1 to 10? Do you feel expansive or do you feel uh, like contraction? Do you feel heavy or does it feel light and right? For example, scrolling social media, rate that on a 1 to 10 in your body. Not in your head, but in your body on a 1 to 10. Now I know for me it's like a 1 or a 2, right? Creating content on video is a 10. So if I want to feel more 10 in my life and less 1, 
I just need to create more video. That's literally it. I don't need to search for any more answers on, on, on social media. I just need to create more videos. So what you can do is you can audit your life. Here's how to, how to get more energy. Rip off Kyle Cease in this video rather than Eckhart Tolle like I did in the other video. Okay, I'm going to rip off Kyle Cease. How to get more energy. Rate everything that you do in your life and how you spend your day, everything that you do in that day on a scale of 1 to 10. Well, it'll list everything that you do. Here we go. Let's start again. So I wish I knew how to edit videos. If you're a video editor and you want to work with me and collab, then let me know. How to get more energy. Step one, list everything you do in, the, in a day. Everything you do in a day from consuming social media, watching the TV, the, the conversations that you have, the clothes that you wear, what time you get up, what time you get to bed, how much time you spend on everything, um, what you look at, what you think about, what you do, what you don't do. No, just what you do, not about what you don't do. Everything that you do and where you go and the environments that you're in. Okay, first of all, list it all, everything you do on a daily basis. Okay, number two, rate those things on a scale of one to ten in your body, how it feels in your body when you think about doing those things. One, terrible, you feel heavy and it's so, uh, you don't want to do it. Release judgment of whether you should do it or not or need to do it or any stories around it, just rate them for now. And then go into uh, a ten if it feels, hey, hey, I love doing that, oh my God, spend time with friends and, and, and skateboarding or... Um, Running for prime minister or whatever it is that you really like. Wait, this is me reading a good book. Right, that's a nine out of ten. Okay, three. Cut out or do the best you can to cut out everything below seven. If you can, you might not be able to straight away. You might have to work out a caveat. Don't do anything I'm telling you to do. Okay, caveat. Do not do anything I'm telling you to do. Okay, this is what I did. This is what changed my life. I read that book. I did the things, and it absolutely changed my life. Do not quit your job. Do not quit your relationship. Do not walk out of your family and and shut the door behind you and and buy a one way ticket to the other side of the world without a ranger. Don't do any of that stuff. Okay, please don't do it. I'm not encouraging you to do any of this stuff. I'm just sharing what I did. Okay. I don't want any angry wives saying, oh, my God, Matt, you told my husband to walk out of the family and leave us and leave us in the dirt. It's all your fault. No, I'm not telling your husband to do that. OK, not at all. I'm just telling him to rate how he feels on those scales of one to ten and then take responsibility for his life. And if he decides to change some of those things, do it in a very, very sensible, well thought out, pre-planned way so that he can move his experience up and he can inspire other people around him to do the same. I hate that we have to say stuff like this. But it is what it is, sign of the times. That's all I've got for you today. Um, list everything that you do. In your, if you want more energy, list everything you do in your day. Rate it on a scale of 1 to 10 of how it feels in your body. And then what I did was I adjusted. I cut out, mm, still doing that at the moment, cut out anything below a seven. And I'm doing more of the eights, nines, and tens, more of the tens. I even started to cut out eights and nines. And I just want a 10 out of 10 life. Okay, give yourself permission to do that. Um, don't do it. Do not do any of that. This video was made in fun. Don't take it seriously. Don't do anything I've suggested in this video whatsoever. Take responsibility for your life, your actions. Be sensible. Think about it. Consult with people. Go and see a doctor if you need to. I think that's it. Thank you very much for watching. Speak to you soon.